then what are your options? Well, well, if you want to take the money out of the 401k plan, then you could put it possibly into an IRA, which you would think would be kind of the the non-employee equivalent of, of, of the same kind of concept, right? So if I don't have access to a 401k plan, then I can use uh, the, the IRA to have a similar conceptual uh, framework to get the to get at least some uh, tax benefits. Okay, so enter on line 5a the distribution from the 1099 R box one from this amount subtract any contributions usually shown in box five that were taxable to you when made from that result subtract the amount of the rollover enter the remaining amount on line 5b. So if the remaining amount is zero and you have no other distributions to report on line 5B, enter zero. So if the whole thing is rolled over, which is often the case, you might roll over the whole thing. See publication 575 for more details on rollovers, including special rules that apply to rollovers from the designated Roth accounts, partial rollovers of property and distributions under qualified domestic relation orders. Lump sum distribution. If you receive a lump sum distribution from a profit sharing or retirement plan, uh, your form 1099-R should have the quote, total distribution end quote box in box to be checked. So you may owe an additional tax if you received an early distribution from a qualified retirement plan and the total amount wasn't rolled over. So in other words, if you got the whole, you know, a lump sum amount pulled out, that could be indicated, but that often might happen when people are going from one job to another, in which case you have to be careful to do that because if you pull all the money out, you could be subject not only to taxes, but also to the penalties for early withdrawal. So for details, see the instructions for schedule two, line eight, enter the total distribution on line 5A and the taxable part on 5B, the totals for details, you can see publication 575.